What's up, everyone? Sean 45 here. So, uh, yeah, I must be crazy. I, I am here on my back porch in the cold, snowy weather making this video for you guys. Uh, but I just got done shoveling my front porch, back porch, uh, sidewalk, driveway, you know, the fun stuff that comes with be living in Illinois during wintertime. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I will not be making snow angels like I talked about earlier um, because due to... Um, some disease that was discovered this afternoon known as disasteritis. That's not going to happen. And I, it sucks. I really wanted to do that for my, my close friend that made that bet with me. Uh, but it is what it is. And look, this is not a full game recap. I'm going to save that for tomorrow night. Like I normally do with Ben. But the reason I'm making this video is, we got an interesting comment on our, our Twitter page this afternoon during the game. I actually, I think it was after the game, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we were pretty active on Twitter, and we were letting our frustrations be known. And um, there was a, a post that we made that said, we're going to get brutally honest tomorrow night in our recap. And this one guy who calls himself, um, Oh, what was it? I think it was Leroy something, I believe. I could be wrong. You guys can see it on our Twitter page for yourselves. Um, but this guy said in uh, written form, right, you know, the Dr. Evil quote. And I asked this guy, what was the deal with that little jab there? You think that we won't? And so I don't, I don't know what his problem was. I, I really don't. Um, you know, we invited him on at a future time to... Uh, talk about it but but like i said i asked him and he's just like well you guys um you guys seem to be all about positivity but if anyone brings you any negativity you block them instantly and uh you can't play both sides of it here well maybe this is just a, a stupid thing to be all like not defensive but video worthy like i probably shouldn't even be making a video about it but i need to explain this to all of you guys watching and those of you who've been watching Ben and I since day one, and it's actually going to be our two-year anniversary this month in about a, a week or two. Can't believe it's been that that long already. And uh, let me tell you guys, it's been a fun two years. It was Ben's idea to do this show for us to join forces, and I am so glad that I uh, jumped on board with it. It's been great. Uh, and hopefully we can keep doing it for a long time to come. Um, but listen, Ben and I have always done our best to bring positivity to Notre Dame football. And we're going to continue to do that without question. But, you know, we're still fans like everybody else. We get pissed off when things go bad. And we've, and in addition to our positivity, we've always told the truth. You know, we're not just like these, these guys who just completely ignore the elephant in the room and go, oh, gee, golly, shucks. It's one, just one loss. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. No, we've always, we've never bullshitted you guys. We've always been honest when things have gone bad with this team and you will see that tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, we've, we've always been consistent. So, so this guy taking a little jab at us and it's not like he, look, I'm not being a, a jerk off to him or anything. Uh, he didn't call us names. I'm not calling him names, but I just, I don't get that. And, and he says, he said like, um, you know, you guys just seem to block anybody that brings any negativity your way. Well, yeah, we block people, of course, but the only people that we blocked are the ones who are nothing but constant negativity. No positivity whatsoever. Basically, to sum it up, we've only really blocked the, quote, realists in the Notre Dame fan base. You know, the ones that constantly are calling for coaches to be fired, the ones that uh, give up on the team before they even play a game, hence the Rose Bowl last season. Those kind of people. We don't just block anybody who you know, has something different to say. Basically, we just block the stupid dumbasses. That's pretty much it. And honestly, in our two years, we really haven't blocked that many people, to be honest with you, whether it be here on YouTube, Twitter, wherever. It really hasn't been a lot. Um, but there's only, you know, there's only so much that we can take. And if you're just going to keep spouting off nothing but negativity, you know, then yeah, we're not going to put up with it. But of course, today, we understand everybody being angry. Myself, I might, I might not be showing it, but I am freaking pissed. And that's all I'll say about that for now. But I just want to try my best not to yell because there's neighbors out and yeah. So, 
But that's all I really wanted to explain to you guys. Ben and I have been consistent from day one in these two years that we've been doing the show. Um, we're going to continue to bring po as much positivity to, no to Notre Dame as we can, but we do tell the truth. And those of you who have been watching us since day one, you know that. And myself personally, I've never been shy about telling the truth. So, what more can I tell you? So, that's all I wanted. Just uh, a few after-game thoughts. And again, the, uh, you know, the full game recap, you guys will see tomorrow night. Uh, so on that note, despite how today went, God bless everyone. Good night. Go Irish.